Now that we have our posts up and running, it's time to add some pictures to them to bring them to life. Now we can't just go to the internet and take any old picture. We need to make sure we have permissions to use them. Well, there's some sites out there that help us do this. This one, called Creative Commons Search, is a great one. All you need to do is to type in your topic that you're looking for. I'm looking for pictures about kids playing. That's going to go with my personal essay on free time. I'm looking for images, so I'll click on the Flickr link here. And it's sifting through all the Flickr images that might relate to this topic. Nothing on this page. Let me go to the next one. Hmm, here's one. I think this one will be good for my blog post. I click on it. Yep, sure enough, it looks good. I click on it again so I can view all the different sizes. This one's way too big for my post, so I'm going to pick a smaller version of this picture. That one looks good. Then, as I have my cursor over the picture, I'm going to right click and copy the image URL. This is going to help me as I insert it into my blog post. I go to my blog post dashboard, click on posts, and then click on edit for the blog post that I want the picture to be in. Okay, I find where I want that picture to be put, click my cursor there, and then I click on this icon that allows me to insert a picture. I have a lot of different options on how I want to do that. I want to do that from the URL, the website address I just copied. There it is. So I'm going to add that selected, and there it is in my post. Now if I click on that image again, I could even move it to the left or to the right, depending on where I want it, and I can add a caption. One thing I need to be sure to do is to make sure I give credit to the person who took this picture. So my job's not done yet. I go back to this image on Flickr, and right here is what I need to put into my post as well. So I'm going to highlight that part, and I'm going to copy that as well. Now I have a couple options. I could put it into the caption, right here. But if I don't like the look of that, I could put it down at the bottom if I just put images from and copy it right here. Either way, I've done my job to make the image not only bring my blog to life, but also give credit to the person who took it.